Oh, I've got it upside down. There we go. Right, so, uh, yeah, I kind of said I was going to do these rants. I've been a bit busy recently. So, oh, for fuck's sake. Right, um, anyhow. Obviously, uh, recent developments in the vaccine for COVID have gone quite a long way. No, not wrong with that. I don't trust them. Yeah, I know, you're going to call me a Karen and an anti-vaxxer and all sorts, I don't care. Because uh, there are things that make me worry. Um, one is a article by The in Independent, who are a left-leaning paper. Uh, now, however, where... Oh. And one of the things that concerns me... Uh, if you watch me Instagram, I did just put a post up about it. The... F where is it? Right, the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine was authorised by the Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency on Tuesday under Regulation 174 of the Human Medicine Regulations 2012 which allows an unlicensed medication to be used in an emergency such as a pandemic. Yes, that can be a good thing, but it, here's, the, here's the part uh, where... Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? It's just got brought to my attention, but now I can't find a bloody bit of it. Damn the un independent with so many adverts. Ministers have also changed the law in recent weeks to give new protections to companies such as Pfizer, giving them immunity from being sued by patients in the event of any complications. NHS staff providing the vaccine as well as manufacturers of, manufacturers of the drug are also protected. Right, so NHS staff providing the vaccine, fair dues. I don't want nurses sued for anything because they're... It's kind of the Nuremberg defence, I was only acting under orders, but this is one where I actually will allow that to stand. Do you want to be a guinea pig? Do you really want to be a guinea pig? Because that's what that really means, is, yeah, test it on the people, you, there's no, going to be no backlash to you. You're not, if you, if Pfizer or one of the other companies have created something that is going to do damage to you they won't be held responsible is that really what you want i'm not a guinea pig i don't want you to be guinea pigs if it goes wrong i'd like it to work for those who choose to take it but jesus with the percentages that i'm looking at <coughs> Most of the people I know, like I've talked to my dad about this, and I know as soon as I started mentioning numbers, he was kind of glossing over a little bit. If you want to wear a mask, wear a mask. It's up to you. If you want to take the vaccine, take the vaccine. It's up to you. Me, personally, no. I'm, I'm pretty fit and well. Well, I'm not fit, <laughs> but my health's not terrible. So uh, I'm not gonna. I'll let uh, let every other uh, guinea pig take it who's scared of something they shouldn't be. Because here's the thing: the lockdown shouldn't happen. If you're scared of it, fair dues. I understand. Stay though. Let the rest of us get on with our lives. Don't destroy the country for one percent, and it's not even one percent. So there's this week's rant. I was gonna do one about masks and Karens. But for some reason I cannot find any of the videos that I wanted to use. They're in my list somewhere, but I just can't find them. Anywho, that's this week's run. I think I'll probably just do one every Saturday or something. <laughs> I don't know. Take care guys. Stay safe.